And good morning. It's Wednesday morning. We continue today with our reading from Matthew 17, and we're going to overlap a little bit with yesterday's and read a few verses from verse, um, let's say, 5. Peter was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, and saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. This little bit of this incident is uh, interesting because the five or six places in Scripture where an angel or the Lord God or somebody appears to uh, human beings, and in almost every case, the human beings fall on their faces, terrified. You know, Isaiah says, woe is me, I'm a man of unclean lips. You know, I'm surely going to die because I've seen the Lord. And that's the only response that is appropriate for human beings when God appears. Is you know, But in every case, the, the, the angel, or in this case, Jesus, says, don't be afraid. Have no fear. Fear not. Listen, I have some news for you. This is, um, this gets to the heart of who we worship. You know, are we afraid of God? I mean, we should, we should hold God in reverent awe and be sort of appropriately fearful of his power and glory, yes. But we don't have to cower in terror that he is going to hurt us. Uh, he's not. Um, God is not going to hurt us. And this idea of a powerful God who's looking for people to send to hell, that's, that's not what we believe. That's a, that's a distortion of what we believe, friends. And um, we'll talk more about that as time goes on. But for today, realize that God loves you and God is is sort of on your side. God God cares and God wants to make uh, to, to draw you close to him and his love. And so um, God's response is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And I think that's um, the appropriate response. So when we encounter God, yeah, we fall on our faces in, in uh, reverent awe of that kind of fear, if you will. But um, it's not abject terror. We're not, we're not worried that he's going to come and get us. Um, <clears throat> in fact, uh, God says to us, oh, don't be afraid. Come here. Listen, I've got news. It's good news. And he goes on to tell them um, <clears throat> about the crucifixion, which may not be good news, really, but um, we'll get to that tomorrow. For now, don't be afraid. See you then. <laughs>